How can you use Facebook retargeting ads to boost sales on your Shopify store? That's coming up. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great week and I want to say welcome to all of our new subscribers. Our channel has been growing like crazy and I'm really thankful to have you on board. And so thank you if you've recently subscribed. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button, like this video and leave me a comment. We have an incredible community here and I love hearing from you and connecting with you. In today's video, I'm going to take you inside a recent coaching call with my shirt school students. Every week I go live inside of our students only Facebook group and I answer questions and I also do some training for our, our course students. And so today what I'm going to be showing you is a little snip of that where I'm going to teach you how to set up dynamic product retargeting for your Shopify store. And I'm going to show you the easiest method to do it. It's really just a few steps. And I first want to start off this video by just kind of explaining what retargeting is and what dynamic retargeting is. Now, the easiest way for you to understand what retargeting is, is just to kind of give you an example. Now, you know, when you go to a website and you go and look at a product and then later on you're surfing Facebook or you're surfing other websites or Instagram and you see that product come up uh, in an ad, that is retargeting. It's essentially when somebody comes to your website and views a product, you can then show them an ad with that same product in it, which really entices them to come back and buy. You can offer additional discounts, but it's really just this kind of psychological thing of you looked at a product and then I show you the same product and it's really, really effective. So today I'm going to show you how to set that up. Dynamic product retargeting is basically where Facebook can take your entire catalog of products and automatically show your potential customers the product that they were looking at. So it's even more powerful than standard retargeting. And that's what we're going to show you how to set up today. So let's dive into that coaching video, go to apps and go to visit the Shopify app store. I want you to search, uh, just search Facebook. Okay. And you're going to find, um, the Facebook channel right here. And I want you to install that app. It's a free app. I want you to add that app to your store. Okay. I've already added it. So it's probably going to say it's already added. Yeah. All right. So once you've added that to your store, you're going to click on the, that app, which is right here in the app section. And you're going to get some different options here. You're going to get Facebook shop, Instagram shopping, and you're going to get Facebook marketing. Okay. I want you for today's lesson, for the purpose of today's lesson, let's ignore the first two. Let's go with the bottom one, Facebook marketing, market your products on Facebook. It says create free and paid ad campaigns and get your store in front of millions of Facebook users who are most likely to convert into customers. Okay. So let's hit, uh, it's a user will say start setup. Let's hit start setup right there. And we need to connect our Facebook account. So it's going to ask you when you get logged in, do you want to like, do you want to connect with Shopify and you do. Okay. So we're going to hit okay. Okay. And so then we've got our Facebook in there. The next thing you want to do is you'll see all of your pages and different things, um, listed there. And you're going to want to find the page that you want. Basically you want to connect up. There's a little connect button. You want to connect your ad account and your Facebook page. And all you do is just hit the connect button. It makes it super simple. Okay. So you're going to, you're going to want to connect your business manager account, your Facebook page, and your ad account. Okay. Um, and you should just see the connect button there. Super simple. All right. So let's go to the next option here. We're just walking through this cause I want to make this, I know this can be huge pain point for people. So try to make this as simple as possible. Customer tracking. Facebook uses your customer data to target products, page posts, and ads to your customers. Once enabled, choose a level of tracking for your store. Let's see if we can enable it. All right. Let's see what we got here. And I've just connected up this little bingle account that I have. All right. Enhance use it as advanced matching, which tracks personal information about your customers, including name, location, email, and phone number. This pixel also tracks customer browsing behavior on your store, browser based ad blockers. Okay. Let's go to maximum and see what that says. Maximum combines all data tracking options to reach the highest amount of customers. It uses conversions API, which shares data from Shopify service to Facebook. This means the data can't be blocked. I mean, I would go maximum maximum. I think is probably what we want. Um, standard uses Facebook pixel, which tracks your customer's browsing behavior on your online store browser base. Let's go maximum and see what happens. Okay. 
I think I've probably generally been on standard, but I haven't used this app a ton because I usually do my retargeting in Facebook ads manager. But when I was creating the course, I found that this app makes it a lot easier to do retargeting. And so that's specifically what I want to show you guys. So I'm going to do maximum and see uh, what happens here to confirm. Facebook target country. Um, let's go ahead and just select the US, unless you're marketing in another country. Um, let's see what it says. It says select a target location. Uh, Shopify maxes your maximizes your budget by focusing on, yeah. So let's just, let's just go US if you're selling in the US. Terms and conditions, oh, I don't see any, let's see. What are we missing here? not letting me finish setup. Let's go back to overview. Let's see what, let's see what happens here. Okay, there we go. It was just one popping up. So terms and conditions, we got to hit accept. Next, what we want to do, this is what it looks like in the, uh, in the front of this app. So after you've done that, you're going to see all this stuff. Okay. And what you want to do is hit create campaign right here under Facebook marketing, create campaign. Okay. And you can see, I haven't been promoting the store or anything. This is just my little merch store. Uh, nothing too crazy. What we want to do, let's see here, create campaign right here at the top. And we're going to get a couple different options. Now I want to look at this real quick because there's some interesting stuff in here. Um, you've got a lot of different things that you can do from this app. Um, Let's go over to ads. Okay, so there's an audience building campaign. Find new customers by reaching people who are interested in products like yours. I would say don't do that, okay? You're probably gonna end up wasting money because they're specifically doing an audience building campaign. If you, you guys should all know if you're on this, I recommend conversions and purchases, which is not audience building, that is to get sales. So we don't wanna do that. Okay, you've got these other options here, Snapchat and Pinterest. We've talked a lot about Pinterest. There's a Pinterest training in the bonus section of the course from Brandy Mowles that you can take a look at. Uh, I probably wouldn't recommend that from the Facebook app. I don't know that that really makes sense. So really, the biggest reason you're going to want to use this app, what am I getting at here from all this walking through, is this dynamic retargeting ad. Okay, Facebook dynamic retargeting ad. This is what you want when you're setting up retargeting ads. You want to click on that. This is why this app is awesome because what this app does when you do a dynamic, here's what dynamic retargeting is. Dynamic retargeting is what we talked about earlier. It's when somebody comes to your store. Okay. So if we go over here to merch.carryegler.com and I'm just browsing or I see it on Facebook and I go and I'm like, man, I really like this shirt, this shirt right here, man. This is a great, this is a great shirt. I want to get this. But you know what? I don't have the money right now. I'm going to have to wait. I can't buy it right now, okay? What these dynamic retargeting ads do is you, they will automatically show the product that the customer looked at in their Facebook feed, okay? When they're scrolling through Facebook, they'll automatically see the exact product that they were looking at on your store. How awesome is that, okay? So you, you don't even have to dive into Facebook Ads Manager to set up these retargeting ads. You can do it right here from this Facebook app inside your Shopify account, which makes it so easy, okay? So what you want to do here, you can set a name if you want. You know, nobody's going to see that. You'll just use that. Um, and then you can go down here and you can type your ad text. So, hey, we saw you were checking out. Okay, so we could type out something like that. I always recommend in your retargeting ads to give them a little extra discount. Just a, a, something that's worked really well for me is give them a little extra incentive to come back and buy it. Okay. Generally retargeting ads work way better than general ads because the, the customer is a little bit warmer. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about when I say that the customer is a little warmer. That means they've already seen your products. So they've already been to your website. They already know a little bit about your company. So when you run retargeting ads, they're generally going to be a lot cheaper than like cold ads, like regular ads that you're running from Facebook ads manager. Okay. So they're really powerful. And, and like I was telling NOS, you're probably going to need 
35 to 50 visits to your store per day at minimum. Ideally, you'd want to be probably more around like 100. Um, but if you're if you're currently getting 50-ish views per day to your store, you can start running retargeting ads, and I would recommend just running those at five dollars per day. I would probably recommend five dollars per day up to about a hundred visits. When you're so, if you're getting about a hundred visits or less on your store per day, you only need to spend about five dollars on retargeting. Um, if you're getting if you're getting more than a hundred, let's say a hundred to 150 visits per day, I would probably bring that up to eight to ten dollars. And I would probably do $10 up to, let's say, 200 visits per day. When you get to um, more than 200 visits per day, you just start ramping that up, okay? The more, the more traffic you send to your website, the more you want to spend on retargeting. But I'd say up to 100 visits, maybe even a little more than that, you can, you can just spend 5 bucks per day, okay? Um, and that's pretty much it. You can turn off the end date, you, so you can just let this thing roll. Generally, these retargeting ads, they'll run for a lot longer than a normal ad. You can let them run forever, not forever, but you can let them run for a long time because they're dynamic, which means they change all the time based off what people are seeing on your website. If you have 100 products on your website, these retargeting ads will, will sift through those 100 products and show the customer the exact product that they were looking at on your website, okay? So it's really, really powerful, and you can, again, you can just you can start with as little as five dollars per day, or even less, I guess, technically. Um, and that's it. You hit schedule. Now Facebook's going to go through their approval process, so it might take a couple hours to get approved. But once it's approved, you've got your retargeting set up. Like it literally takes a few minutes, and it's really this is the this is the absolute easiest way for you guys to set up retargeting ads. So I wanted to show you that, and. Um, Hopefully that's helpful. I mean, let me know if you guys enjoyed that. If that's helpful, I can do more training on it. Um, again, this is super easy. I don't recommend using it for general Facebook ads. I still recommend Facebook Ads Manager because um, you can't run ads from here for purchases or for conversions, okay? So I, I still recommend um, using Facebook Ads Manager for your general ads, but when you're doing retargeting, this is so easy, so easy.